everyone, welcome back. Day number 27 is spray glazing. And it was an adventure. <laughs> it was a messy adventure. Um, I think I just, I had never done it before. I hadn't done it at, at all. And I had this, I have my little atomizer. I can't say I haven't done it because I think I actually put glaze in here once and I tried it and it was a mess. And then I washed it and stored it away for a very long time. So it's, it's a very faint memory. But so I'm considering this my first time because it was a, a focused effort. <laughs> anyway, it started out, um, started out really messy. Thankfully, my neighbor, Mike DeGree, came over and gave me a box that is now going to be my spray booth, so I may try it again. I had, you'll see, I made a little commentary as I went along. I was not enjoying it. <laughs> I was not enjoying it at that moment. And um, I'm, I'm not sure, well, I'll show you the pot at the end and how it turned out. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I have a small atomizer and I'm gonna use that to spray on glaze. And this is a, I've had this, I've moved this from side to side and I have not used it. And there's no instructions. So uh, I'm going to thin out some glaze. It says that I can, the directions are here. Use your mouth to spray glazes or oxides on clay. Clay works easily and quickly is a tiny tube from the bottom to the top. When you blow air through the top, you create a suction that pulls the liquid up through the vertical tube and the liquid ex exits the spray as a mist. Okay, I mixed up some glaze and I added a little bit more water and I thinned it out a lot. And I poured it using the funnel inside here. And now we're just gonna go test it out and see how this thing works. perfectly honest with you I found no joy in that that was not fun at all and um, it's a huge mess now I even got splatters I covered my table with paper almost all the way out and it still is a mess so if I'm doing something wrong if maybe you saw something that I did that was not correct please let me know I'd appreciate it thank you. okay this just became more fun uh, my friend Mike Mike the Greek came by and he had a box in his shop um, so he brought it on over and it's going to be perfect. I don't know how well you can see it. I mean, let me move this back a little bit. Isn't that great? I think the mess was going to frustrate me a little bit. So I'm not sure how well you can actually see what I'm doing now. So I'm going to put a little bit more on here because I'm not sure how thick I need to make this. So. Hyperventilate and doing this, huh? varnish. Okay, so there was the adventure. Here is the pot, the bowl, the thing. Um, <laughs> like I said, I really, I, I have to say I did not enjoy doing this. Uh, I may enjoy it more if the result is what I like, but it was a whole lot of effort and if this doesn't, I keep trying it I guess, but uh, yeah. I'm sure it's great. I've seen beautiful work done with spray glazing. I don't have the knack for it yet. I say yet because you can always learn what you need to know. And uh, anyway, 
I'm going to, I'm not completely done with this, by the way. I put some latex here and I am going to put another glaze over it and then I'm going to glaze the foot. So I uh, just wanted to show you what spray glazing was all about. My first attempt at it. I consider it my official first attempt. So hope you guys enjoyed today. Tomorrow we have the one, the thing I really love to do, a uh, color washing. And uh, we actually get to go on an adventure. I'm going to take you in my car. We're going to go to a different location for that. Uh, I'm going to show you the entire bowl for tomorrow's because I just had so much fun and it was uh, something I really enjoyed. So hope you guys come back tomorrow and we will see you then for color washing.